What's up guys, it's Jules. It is time for another weekly update of Crestage. All right, uh, first week in November, Stitch Vember. We're in Stitch Vember now. I got my stitchy robe on with all my floss. This is what I wore for Halloween. I literally did. I just put my stitchy robe on and it has all my, all the different floss that's all over me because it just comes down, ooh, sprinkles down upon me. <sighs> So, does this look straight? I'm looking at the camera, and to me, the camera looks like it's off kilter, but it looks straight in the camera. So, I don't know. It's all good. Anyway, uh, good stitchy week. Good week of stitching. Um, got a couple things to share with you guys at the end. Got a crazy fish video. Got a potential new animal endeavor. We'll see. Uh, yeah, let's get to the stitching. Let's get to the whips. What past the call? Alrighty. I'm gonna start with Le Dachson. So I finished, pretty much finished that first page. Um, what I said, pretty much, I just didn't finish filling in some of the purple down here, but I finished everything else. Or did I? Do I have a couple things left? Oh, I have a couple things that are like right there, and uh, I couldn't find the color for it. So I'm sure it's in my stuff somewhere, but I was like, you know what? I'm tired of looking for this thing. I'm just gonna jump ahead. So I jumped ahead and I gridded out the next page and I have found the next page, um, got my pattern out, found it. And the good thing is, is that there's very little purple at the top. This is gonna be like all, all dog. Where are you, Dachshund? Up here. And so it's like all, all dog that's gonna pop out. So we're gonna get rolling on this one, make some adorable, colorful progress. It's gonna be awesome. Alrighty. Um, Boba Fett. I was like, what is this one called? Boba Fett. So, you know, I'm looking at it now and he looks kind of sassy. Does he not look kind of sassy now that you're looking at him? He kind of looks sassy to me because he looks like he's doing this. Hold on. He's like, whoop, wait a minute. You see how he's standing? It's like he's like, like he's got his hand on his hip and he just, I can't really, I can't really do it. But now that I'm looking at him, all right, that's actually, he's holding a gun. I suppose that's the opposite of sassy. Or maybe that's the definition of sassy. I don't know. Uh, all right, but stormtrooper, stormtrooper, Boba Fett. What am I thinking? So I just continued work on the bottom part of the pattern. He just still looks like a stringy dude. And there he is. But I just filled in more, filling in more. I really want to go back up to the top, and uh, and start filling in more, and kind of work my way. I usually work my way from the top down. So. I can go ahead and fill in some of this and just start working my way down. I'd like to see if this lighter colored stuff actually pops out or not. So, definitely need to do that. What's up, Mark? I'm not the one who feeds you. Your daddy feeds you. And he will be home soon. Mercury's like, I'm hungry. You fed all the dogs. I always feed all the dogs. But your daddy feeds you. Because that's how, that's how it works. That way, Because otherwise you get two meals all the time. Two meals. Two meals. All right, um, E Pluribus Unum is almost done. The only thing that I have left to do, and I'll show you, here, let me just, I wanna fold this up, so, cause it's so much extra fabric. We don't need to have all that extra fabric out here. But anyway, there it is, guys. Pretty much done. Um, so, I, I'm changing it up a little bit, and we talked about this before, because this, I wanna make this 17 and over here 76, and then U and then S over here. And that's different from the pattern. So I just need to find, do I need to find? Yeah, I do need to find. Well, the S, I could use this S, theoretically, that's on the pattern. And I could use that seven. I just don't know how, I'm like way below the thing. I just don't know how exactly the, uh, I just don't know how exactly it's gonna go. But, but there it is, kids. Stitchy ruse, boo -ba -doo -ba -doo. Very happy. So that's, that's pretty much done. I just gotta track down that page of sampler stuff and I know I have it. I, I say that every week about something. I know I have it. All right. We got our with charity Abraham Lincoln piece. And we just got more done on it. I'm almost completely done with um this row cuz th it's the end here and it's the end here and then I think there's still there's still some writing that needs to go through here. So um and then I'll have the top 3 rows done. And we can keep moving on. But yeah, it's coming along nicely. Coming along very nicely. Do you really want to see it? Do you really want to see it up close? There you go. Ah, 
Boop doo 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 doo. Um, what do we got? What do we got? What's down here? Oh man. What? Oh, stormtrooper. So let's go ahead and do the other Star Wars thing. So stormtrooper. So I just picked a couple more colors and just went and filled in more of the page in that thing that I'm doing now, where I'm just literally just taking colors and filling them in. It seems like it's going a little better. I just got to pick a, uh, another couple colors this week and work on those. So it's not the entire page. It does go down to like, I think this row and maybe part of another. Oh yeah, duh, it goes down to here. Uh, so, but this, this, you know, this uh, way of doing things is actually kind of fun for this, this project. It's just different. So it's coming together nicely. It looks like an explosion of pixelation. Where is he? Right up here. Explosion of pixelation. It's going to be crazy when I get down to the actual, like, true design. I'm, it's probably, I hope it goes a lot faster once I get down there. Because there won't be quite so much constant switching of colors. That might be nice. It would definitely be faster. Ah, get over here. Um, Alright, let's pull these out. What do we got here? What do we got here? Ah, apothecary shop. I finished the page. Finally. And I started on the next one. So there's the page finished, kiddos. How do you like that? How do you like them apples? And it's right above my head. There we go. I'm just comparing what I see, what I see, and what I see. And it looks good. So yeah, that was that's the page. So now I'm back up to the top, working on the next bit. Went ahead and gridded out. Not not the uh, that's not the whole page. Obviously, that's just a big section of it. Just enough to get me started. But yeah, just finishing, just just going back in and working on it. It's kind of funny. It's kind of funny. If I was going to laugh about it, I don't laugh about it. Yeah, I laugh about it. All right. Uh, what else we got here? Oh, uh, baseball. Let's just jump right into baseball. Baseball. Mm, got some more color done. I'm just still filling everything in. Again, it's like this one, until we get past this blah section, and we start making our way down on top of the umpire head here, it's, it's one of those pieces where... The blurriness will come into focus when something more clear comes next to it. And it is not, I'm pretty sure, well maybe it is, it might be that guy. I still can't, I'm still not sure about if that's a player or not. But I kind of can see now where it's like the, 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 I don't know, peach or whatever that is, peach color. Is like, might be this guy's belt or part of his socks or, I don't know. But... I don't know, I just got to keep working on it, you know? You know what I'm talking about? And then this is the bottom of the page. So that's the good news. So while I still need to go back and fill a bunch up here, I have reached the bottom of the page. All right. Oh, man. This video is going to be in two parts. So I forgot that. Well, I could pause it. Maybe if I pause it, I'll be able to still upload it in one part because I forgot the big, humongous piece downstairs. I'll get that in a minute. But anyway, so there's... Derby baseball, baseball, right? Baseball, baseball. All right. Sue, so, rainy Waterloo place. I tell you what, this piece, this piece this week, I've reached sort of a stage where every time I start working on it, I fall asleep, which seems very strange to me. I'm not sure why, but it, I've got this uh, muscle memory thing now that when I start working on it, I just start not. And it was doing it during like football on Sunday and that wasn't good, but I did get a chunk done. Whoops. There's a chunk So I got a bit more done I'm working on that second row getting it all the way across So I'm just I'm working on getting this one all the way across while I'm working on this one as well So you can see how it's going. So I got that first row. Oh I'm just trying to pop. I hope you didn't hear my neck just pop, but it popped pretty good um, but I gotta get all that done before I start getting to the darker colors, but it just has to be done. Must be done. All right. That one. Let's go this bag over here. All right. So let's show you guys the blended project that I got right now. The um, city from Greenwich Village. And I did a bit more work on it this week. Got some more done. I'm going to hold it back first. Because what I did, I did two things. One is I went in and I filled in a lot of the sky up here just kind of filled in some of the colors that I needed to fill in. And then I moved it down. I moved some of the stuff down, but then I just started stitching in more of the um, the water tower that's right here. So the further back, the fur further back it is, the more you can really see it. And I 
didn't bring up the big picture? It's the big picture. Oh, there it is. It's the big picture. So I brought up the, uh, there we go. So there it is. So I'm, I'm up here. I'm working on this and I got that. So yeah, it's coming in nicely. Coming in nicely. Yeah, I'm happy with that. There you go. So I've been working on that for the last couple of nights, just kind of fiddling with it, working on a little here, working on a little there. All right, old world map two. Man, I tell you what, it feels like forever since I've stitched on this, but I stitched on it, I think it was like last Wednesday and Thursday, and then I put it away for the week, so I'm like, man, I don't even remember where I was with this thing. But I got more stitching done. I'm filled in a lot more. I'm getting closer to finishing the page. And there we go. Got a lot to, to fiddle in there, but as you can see, it's just more and more getting done. I got a little bit more of the lettering done for those of you who are who said you were OCD and needed those letters to be done. A little bit more is done, and a little bit more just needs to be filled in. Can you see that? Will that focus? Sort of. Anyway, so yeah, you can see it coming through. See it coming through. There it is so far. Man, that's crazy. That should be further along. Further along. All right. I'm going to put you guys on pause real quick. And uh, I'm going to run downstairs and get the gigantic, uh, gigantic, I mean, that was pretty large, but I'm going to get you the wonders of the world piece here. Hold on. Pause. Okay. Oh. All right. So I actually also found Reaper, which had fallen onto the floor downstairs. There we go. So I got all the way down to the bottom of the page, um, and I'm just working, finishing this part in, and I'm just going to come all the way down here. Basically mirror a lot what I did on the other side. And then, yeah, I think once I do that, then I'm going to go back to page three, which is this area right here, and just fill in more on the top, and just fill all this in. It's going to look so cool once you can kind of see the cow, like just have this part be, be evident. Then it's going to look like something. So I'm telling you, 2019 is the year where things are going to look like something. That's my theme. I'm sticking to it. Okay. I'm not picking up the whole thing for you to see because you can't possibly see it. It's way too big. But I got some more stitching done on it. I had to go get some new colors for it. Wonders of the world up here. So... I got a few more things, and I'm just going to show you the little bit that I got done. This thing is massive. So there's that. Whoop. Can you see it? There we go. So yeah, so I just, a few more colors, working their way in. I actually, uh, I had some problems with this. A couple different things. Um, one, I told you I had to go get new colors. So I had to go get some of the new DMC colors. And here's the bag that's like already like five pounds or something with all the fabric in it. But... Scoot this down just a smidge so I, don't, I can I can see you guys and you can see me a little better. That works. Um, so there's a couple things with this one that I'm gonna have to really get used to on it. One, I gotta use a really small needle uh, with a small eye. And I was using, I can't tell you what kind they were. I think I got them at Hobby Lobby. And they were the kind that they had kind of the gold eye piece. And, um, and then the, the silver, not silver, but the stainless steel rest of it, whatever, and I was using it. And dang it, if I didn't break a needle in half. I just, I got, it got stuck at one point, and I was just pulling and pulling, and I just pulled a little harder, and the whole thing just broke. And I'm like, oh, all right, I gotta use a better, I gotta use a small needle for this, because um, the 25 count on this is no joke, no joke. And, um, which, it's not usually an issue, because I, I've, you know, I have other projects that I've done, like 25, but uh, for um, whatever reason, and maybe just because it's brand new, it's uh, it's been a little tough to stitch right now. But don't cry for me, Argentina. I I asked for this. I did. I asked for it. Uh, the other thing is still the gritting aspect of it. And one of you guys mentioned that you use a mechanical pencil, a really tiny mechanical pencil to actually grid. And I think that's a fantastic idea. Um, and I think I may have to do that. I just need to go get me one of those things and uh, and use it. But the uh, the marker that I use is just not going to work for this. It's it's not fine tipped enough, so I just need to do that. 
there anything else with that? Oh yeah, one more thing. So I got my Stitchy Vision glasses here, right? So I pulled these out again to work with them. And I need to come up with some kind of modification for this. Because when I wear them, it's an... I'm going to yell for a second. Zuzu! Stay out of the garbage! They're not staying out of the garbage. No, they're just not. Um, it's very front heavy. And when I put them on, and I'm stitching with my head down, like it's a lot of weight like on the bridge of my nose, and I can only stitch with them for so long. Anyway, I can only stitch with them for so long. So, and it's not, it's not like how they sit on my nose, it's just that they're sitting on my nose. So I, I want to try and figure out, have some sort of system where I can kind of suspend it a little bit. Like, I have a pair of headphones that I could put on while I'm using it, and then maybe tie some floss onto part of it, and then tie, I don't know, I'm going to try and figure out how to do it. Or maybe even some wire or something. But I, I'm going to need to wear these for extended periods doing this project. So I'm going to have to figure out something so that I don't have like a, you know, by the time that I'm done with the piece, like my nose is like super sunken down. That's going to be weird. But anyway, so, but I do need these for that project. There's just no way that I can, I can work on 25 count without. So that's all good. So I have a fish video that I'm going to put at the end of this uh, because the fishies were being very weird today and I think that they're doing some sort of a mating dance or something. They were, they were being <laughs> very weird, so I'll show you that. Uh, what else is going on? Dogs are good. Went to the dog park yesterday with the two big dogs. They about dragged me all over the place. That was a lot of fun. Um, got that done. Um, we might be putting together, um, a, so I don't know if you guys remember this, like a year and a half ago, I was all excited because it was back when I was first starting all my aquarium stuff, and there was a dude down the street that was selling his 100 foot, not 100 foot, that would be crazy, um, not that I don't do things crazy, but uh, it, it's a 100 gallon, but it's like a, not very tall, like 18 inches tall by maybe 24 inches wide by about like 72 inches or something, and it works out to like 100 gallons, whatever the, whatever it is. But um, I haven't wanted to fill it up with water because it's an older thing, and he had used it as like more of a terrarium for turtles and stuff, so he didn't have it filled up all the way with water for a long time either. So we might be modifying that and turning that into like a little gecko, gecko environment, a little lizard amphibian environment or something like that. We'll see. Um, my husband and I were talking about that earlier, and um, we have a friend who has a kid who is looking to get rid of his gecko, and I am all about taking in new animals. And I've never had a lizard, reptile, or anything like that. I've never had any of those, so this would be a complete learning experience, and it would be very, very cool. So we shall see. We shall see. But I'll show you guys, because I think if we do it, it's going to be like on the other side of the room over here. So yeah, it's going to be crazy. Oh, what else is going on? What else is going on? Lots of football, lots of hockey, lots of bad hockey with my blues, lots of good football with my bears. Watching so much sports. It is awesome. I am so into sports this year, thank goodness. Last year, it didn't feel right. It didn't feel good. And so this year, it feels great. It feels amazing. Uh, but other than that, oh, news. Um, totally forgot because I mentioned this during the stitch along. But uh, for those of you uh, who might care, might not care, um, I did manage to get the pieces that I was missing, the couple pages that I was missing for Space Traveler, uh, the Hade piece. So I actually did get those. I will not say where I got those from, but the, but the place or the individual or whoever it was that got them to me, um, thank you very much. You know who you are, and they're very appreciated. And um, I'm going to need to go get new fabric. At some point, not right away, people. All right, calm your jets. Cal calm your jets. No, cool your jets. Cool your jets. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, I don't have enough to do cross stitch wise, so I should go get that done. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, seriously. Uh, no, I'm not sure exactly when I'll start it, but uh, I have it. So right now, there just needs to be pushes for other things to get a lot more done with them. I mean, E Pluribus Unum can get done very quickly as soon as I can find that number. I mean, it, it's probably like 15 minutes of stitching at most, and then it's done. 
Um, yeah, other things are moving along nicely, get making some progress. I really want to get, I really want to get this rainy water in place done because it's probably like the least colorful um, piece that I have. Although I love it and I want to finish it, um, and it's going to look so awesome the further down I get on it. But I, you know, the where is it? This rainy day in Boston is definitely just more. It's kind of sepia toned in a way, but it definitely has a better period piece to it, and um, it's just awesome. And so I definitely, and then I've got Tower of Babel, and I've got, dudes, i got so many, I mean, you know, okay, just just wait to the end of the year, like, the end of the year, cross-stitch blast, you know, like, go into what I've done all year, um, and go through, like, all my patterns and everything, it'll be a big to-do, we'll have all that done, it'll be awesome. So that's good. Um... Did I do a question and answer this week? I don't think I did. So we're probably ready for a question and answer next week. I uh, I don't have... Um, I still haven't started the football piece yet. I'm sorry, guys. The stitch with me. the Or the stitch... Yeah, the stitch with me, if you wanted to actually stitch with me. we um, I, I'm going to do that series. I just haven't had... <sighs> haven't had the, the, the gumption to really jump into it. it uh, what are we doing this weekend? Was I off? It was off. Yeah. Oh, it was, was it Halloween? No. I don't remember what was going on, guys. I'm sorry. But uh, anyway, so other than that, that's pretty much it. Um, I'll put the fish video after this, and I'm going to start stitching tonight. Uh, I think I'm going to work on Old World Map 2, potentially. Or, or not, or something else. We'll see. Wednesday nights are always the best nights of the week for me because I get to start fresh with new stitching. So that's pretty much it. So happy stitching, y'all. And ask your questions, and I'll get to them later on. We'll do a stitch with me this weekend. And who knows what we'll do for that one. We'll just see kind of where we're at. Um, hopefully it'll be something pretty and colorful to be working on. And we'll go from there. So y'all take care. Have a good one. Happy stitching. And I'll see you soon. Take care. What are they doing? A little mating dance?